Well, in case you haven't been on the internet in the past couple of days, you know that by now Eli Manning has been benched for this Sunday's game against the Raiders. That's just a hot topic that we're going to talk about for this week. Well, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching this episode of Time to Football. I'm your host, Hassan Khan. It's a sentence that I thought I would never say unless he officially retired on his own terms, but Eli Manning is no longer the starting quarterback for the New York Giants. First reported by Ian Rappaport of NFL.com, Ben McAdoo made the decision to start Geno Smith as their quarterback against the Raiders, ending Eli Manning's consecutive streak of 210 games started. In McAdoo's defense, he stated that over the next five games, he wants to start more players, give them more opportunity to play, such as Geno Smith or the rookie third stringer Davis Webb. Like we said on top of the show, there's been a lot of mixed responses and emotions to the decision, uh, mainly from fans who are outraged, but also former players such as Chris Snee, Sean O'Hara, Justin Tuck, O.C. Yumanura, a lot of players are speaking out as well, and even Tom Coughlin, who coached Manning in a little less than 200 games as a New York Giant, who, who now works in the front office of, of Jacksonville, says that he disagrees with the decision. Even current players such as Philip Rivers, who was drafted in the same quarterback draft class in 2004 as Manning, said that the move is pathetic. As for our thoughts on Eli Manning, fans of the show know that we don't do scripts. Okay, I don't type something out before we go live. I don't uh, read off a teleprompter. I'm looking directly at you into a camera right now just talking. All we do before the show is I write down a topic that we're going to talk about and we talk about it. So all it says right now is give thoughts on Eli Manning's bench. All it says. So let's talk about it. Let's give you my thoughts on what I think about Eli Manning no longer being the starting quarterback for the New York Giants. I don't like it. The, the first game that I've ever watched, first ever NFL game was back in 2006. First ever Sunday night football game on NBC between the New York Giants and the Indianapolis Colts. Manning versus Manning. And Peyton Manning and the Colts ended up winning that game. But that was a game that got me invested in the NFL. I fell in love with it after watching that game. And I loved rooting for Eli and the Giants uh, throughout his entire career. Because a year later, uh, in 2007, when he faced the New England Patriots in Super Bowl Forty Two. I was rooting for Eli. And then four years later, in 2011, when he faced the Patriots again in Super Bowl 46, I was rooting for him again. Because throughout his entire career, he's always been the underdog. Always has. He's always been ridiculed. He's always been mocked, saying he's not good enough, saying he's overrated. Um, he's always been compared to Peyton Manning, his older brother, when really his stats speak for themselves. Top 10 in almost every major passing category in his career. Being 2-9 and nine and making a decision uh, to, to, to start someone else at quarterback, it makes sense. It really does. Only if your quarterback is part of the problem. Guess what? He's not part of the problem. Eli Manning is still a pretty good and solid quarterback. And the reason I know that is because I was watching a game about two or three weeks ago. Is when the Giants and the 49ers were playing this past year. And it was the most irrelevant throw in the world. It wasn't a touchdown. Didn't lead to the Giants winning the game. They ended up losing. Eli Manning was in the pocket and he was getting pressure thrown in his face. And he throws it towards the sideline. Perfect throw to uh, Ricardo Lewis. And for uh, the, the, the post video, post production video, we'll put it up on YouTube for everyone to see. But. He had pressure in his face, still threw a perfect throw, only where Ricardo Lewis could get the ball, and only the best of the best quarterbacks can make throws like that. When I saw that throw, I was like, dang, Eli Manning is still a, a pretty solid quarterback. You put any quarterback behind a bad offensive line with no run game, so people are going to focus on the pass, with top two receivers injured, with a secondary that can't keep up and gives up a lot of points, yeah, any quarterback is going to struggle in that situation. For Manning, it is sad. He has said that this is the hardest day for him as a New York Giants. And where will he be in 2018? I don't know. Is he going to be with Jacksonville uh, because of Tom Coughlin? Will he be with Denver because they have a solid team around there just missing a quarterback? I don't know. We'll have to see. 
But I do think that the New York Giants, for 14 seasons, having him as loyal as he has been with the organization, should at least give him the opportunity to finish his career if he does retire after this year, or at least finish his career as a New York Giant for the next five games. At least give him that. To finish the season with this organization that he's given so much, two Super Bowl championships to, so many memories for this organization. I hate to say it, but with Tom Coughlin gone, with Eli Manning more than likely gone as well, in New York it is an end of an era. And more than likely McAdoo and Jerry Reese will not be back in 2018, so it's going to be a start of something new, something exciting, possibly. We'll have to see. But for Eli Manning, I wish him the best.